Lucas here in Venture Surplus, and today we're going to take a quick look at Colt carry handles. Alright, so what these are, I'm not going to be honest up front, I don't know tons about these, but I'm going to tell you what I know. So if you don't know a whole lot, you can get up to speed on these, at least as far as I know. But what these are is the carry handles that are going to go on the U.S. service rifles, so M4s, M16s had these, um, and it's a removable rear sight. So what this does is it lines up with typically the A2 front sight post, and it gives you a rear sight that's adjustable pretty dang accurate and it's going to attach to um, any of your mil spec rails so your uh, M1913s or Picatinny rails and all that jazz. So it's going to sit right there on the back of your receiver and allow you to you know shoot pretty accurately. So <clears throat> uh, to put this on your rifle to get that out of there it's going to really, really need to be a mil spec. Um, it's going to get the best function and use out of it but as long as you have a more or less A2 height front sight you can use this um, some of the range adjustments and might not line up perfectly as far as it feels you know on a straight military rifle but in general you're going to get good use, use out of it as long as you go to the range and you know figure out what works good for you on this rear sight so um let's go up a little closer and take a few looks at some of the features on here okay so what we got here um so you can see this a little closer we have a couple adjustments we're going to go over and some of the overall features of this carry handle so right here we have it focuses in there we go um this is our range adjustment right here you look over here, you can see the dial, and you can see the uh, the numbers on each side. So what this does is give you the range adjustment, and it kicks this sight post up and down. So, you know, that's pretty easy right there. And again, if you don't have a mil-spec type rifle, just figure out what works with you, and you know, write that down, get your dope down. From there, you have windage adjustment. So this knob right here is going to adjust this sight left and right for your windage, and that's going to turn freely, just adjust your windage pretty much. And you have two... Uh, sites to pick from. So you have this peep sight right here, and then depending on who you ask and depending on what the manual says, I forget, it's either a night sight or it's a uh, when you're wearing a pro mask, because if you ever worn a pro mask and qualified or shot, um, it's pretty hard to see through small things. So that does make sense. But you have an open sight and a peep sight. Both are really accurate. Get them zeroed in, you're good to go. From there, this is a little bent up because it's just a spare we have. We see how it mounts. Just unscrew these screws. It's going on your pick rail. That locking bar is going to lock down real tight. And then once these are set, you're good to go. It's not coming off. And now the last thing you got here is a hole. As you can kind of see that hole through it. Um, this is where you can mount a gooseneck or you can mount a rail on top. And you can mount optics on top of the carry handle itself. Or mount them up in front and slung up in front of it. And that's where you see like CCOs, M68s. You see ACOGs on top of here a lot of times. So this allows you to get a, I don't know what kind of height it would be really. But you can mount an optic straight on top. The optic brakes, cool, you still got iron sights. So yeah. Now last thing, is it a handle or is it not? It's up to you to decide. Um, you know, if you're in the military, you're told don't carry this by the handle, but I mean, it's a freaking handle at the end of the day. So yeah, make sure to check these out. If you're looking for anything mil-spec, add to your rifle.